Hello everyone! In this video we are going to learn how to edit Witcher 3 vaults in RedKit. To get RedKit you need the base game first. After purchasing the game you can get RedKit for free. Then download and install it. It has simple installation, just follow the process. After the installation is done, run RedKit and make a new project. Now let's start. Here. Click on Asset Browser, it's this icon, click on it. In this window, we need to find the vaults. They are located inside Levels folder. Find that folder and open it. As you can see, we have Kermohan, Novigrad, Skalik and all other vaults. Pick which one you want and open the folder. Inside this folder, scroll down a bit and find this file. This is the world file. They have a world icon on them. Each world folder has only one. Double click on it and wait for it to load. After it's load, you can view the whole world here. Left click on the screen and hold your right click. Then move the mouse up, down, left, right. To move, use WSD. To move up and down, use E and Q. To move faster, use your mouse scroll and scroll it forward. Also use shift at the same time to fly. That's how you navigate. Now as you can see we have lots of missing details. To load them all, come to this panel and in a scene, right click on this world icon here. Select load all in group. Now wait a few seconds, let it load. It's going to be a heavy process. Okay, as you can see everything is loaded. But to hide this extra stuff, click on this. Now because we loaded everything, it can cause your red kit to crash if you don't have powerful PC. So just hide things you don't want to edit. Or you could just load the things you wanted to edit. You come here, click on which one you want, then load it or unload it. Easy. I'm going to work on this land. Now let's edit. In order to do that, in this panel, select Tools. Here we have lots of tools that we can use to edit worlds. Let's start with Terrain Edit Tools. Click on it. Ok, this is the editor window. First move it to the side and make it smaller. Now choose Shape Brush. They do exactly what is mentioned in their name. To use them choose one of them, then come here and left click. After seeing this question, hit yes. Now move this brush where you want to edit and left click to edit. Hold it to make surface of the world rise. You can still use right click to move camera and use WSD to move around. And by using these settings, you can change the size of the brush and many other things about it. Just try them out one by one and see what they do. And use Ctrl plus Z to undo your move. Ok, let's move to materials. Here. We have lots of textures. We can paint the world with them. First right click on one of them. Then select another one and left click on it. This will mix them together. If you right click and left click on the same one, you only can use one. After that, click on paint. Now move here and paint the world. You can also use other texture from other worlds. Or upload your own. To use other texture from other worlds, click on this green arrow. And here in Asset Browser, 
you can find lots of other world textures. Select which one you want and here click on this arrow again. There you go, you have them. That's enough for terrain edit. Now let's try other tools. Close this one. Again, come to this panel. In tools, select the vegetation edit tools. This will add grass, trees, and stuff like that. After this window pop up, open asset browser from here. And use search bar to find the vegetations. Search for forest. And set this to all. Okay, we have lots of them. The files we are looking for are in this shape. Find the one you're looking for. And after you find it, drag and drop it inside this window here. Now click on it and move to this page. Just like before, use your mouse and add vegetations. You can make your brush more stronger and bigger using these settings. Next, try paint size option. This one is crazy, be careful. You will use this to make your vegetations bigger. And by pick instance option, you can select which tree you want and change its location. And by paint grass mask, you can remove the grass from world. Just like that. Okay, this is also enough. Before we go forward, let's say you made your mod and it's ready to publish. What you need to do is save this project. In order to do that, come to Files and click on Save World. This is important. If you don't save it first, it won't work. After that, here, click on Publish, then select save a world and publish project next name your mod give it a version and a description it doesn't matter what you type and hit next here start cooking the mod wait a few seconds or minutes it depends on your mod and after it's done you can install it in your game using this option or just hit next and here extract the mod files then make a RAR file and publish your mod, or install it, do as you please. Okay, let's move on to weather. Here, click on this icon, and on this window, use this bar to change the weather system. And here, you can change the time. And to give this world other world weather system, come to this panel, go to world, find environment parameters, click on red plus, find environment definition, and weather template. Now, open asset browser, and find some files that we can use here. Search ENV. These are the files. They have sun and cloud icon. Pick which one you want, then add here. Click on environment definition and click on green arrow. It will add the file. Now search for weather. These are the files and this is their icon. Select which one you want. Then come here, click on weather template, then click on green arrow. Now you should have different weather options. Okay, what about adding water? Let's do it. Before we do this, let's change some settings. This is important. In panel, come to world. 
click on this environment parameters red plus come down and disable water shaders now click on this icon and make sure allow water shaders is check finally view settings editor option check areas and visual debug boxes done let's add water first dig a hole using this tool again choose this brush and with this height option i just have much deep you want to dig then dig now close this tool in panel go to scene and right click on world this one then make a group name it whatever you want then right click on that group and make a layer and call it water or something now this is the group click on this red plus then select the file now move the camera above the hole you dig then right click and choose graphics next add the local water areas okay now use move to move it bring it up a bit then use scale to make it bigger adjust it as you please then save the project and it's ready to publish You can also call Geralt to test it for you inside RedKit. Move your camera closer to surface. Then click on this. Now you can move in the world you made and try things out. See if they work or not. After you're done, exit the game in order to come back in editor. Now, let's add some objects to our world. Right click on the world and add a group. Then right click on group and add a layer. Now select the layer and go to asset browser and find the objects you want to add. You can add mesh or entity files. To find them, you can search for them inside folders or search in search bar, but they are too many. It's going to take a while to gather them all. After you find them, select them and come to world. Move on the place you want to add. Then press C key. Do it again to add more or drag and drop the file. Just make sure first select this layer, then do this part. Geralt? Geralt? Okay. There are so many other things we can do with RedKit, but that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.